Okay, we're returning now to the audio line PT345 base station and now we're moving on to the receiver. Now I've hit a snag, I tried to test put it into the test equipment through the extension speaker socket as usual and it really didn't like it. Now the radio has a floating chassis and the test equipment did not like that at all. So what I've had to do is to plug in through the DC lead because it has a you've got the mains power supply built in here you've also got the facility to plug in a DC cable to run it on 12 volts like in a power cut or in a RV or whatever you want to use it in so we're having to run it through that so it doesn't affect the performance anyway but it's just interfering with the test equipment so if any of you try that kind of trick uh, that's the snag so running it on 13.8 uh, volts off the external power supply the receives already working very well indeed now we'll just run through the receive settings. Uh, the first receive coil is L6. And L6 is that one there. So we'll just see if we can adjust that. we go. The second one is L5. The third one is L4. Let's change tools. As ever I'm using a sign nav meter and an oscilloscope. To the next one is L3. On to L2. Let's put the turn back on. And finally, L1, which is the Call there, which doesn't have a, a can on it. Okay, now I'll set the signal generator for an S9 signal and we'll adjust the detector, which is L19 switch the other camera on, you can see my left hand oscilloscope if I move my head and we'll turn the volume up so you get a decent sized trace we're looking for maximum audio there we have it, slight improvement there While we've got the signal generator on S9, we'll set the S meter. And the S meter is VR1. And so we'll just turn that to, my, to the S meter on the radio reads S9. At the moment it's reading S2. It's as you know, this radio has been really severely played with. And it does certainly deserve better. And that now just brings us on to the squelch. We'll turn the signal generator off. We'll set the squelch threshold. We'll switch the signal generator back on. That comes on with a 3 microvolt signal. That's okay. I'm going to turn the squelch to full. We'll see when that comes on in this, on the signal generator. 
comes on about plus 30, that's fine. So that's working beautifully. If we'd have needed to adjust it, the Squelch preset is VR2 there. And that concludes it. However, before I can do an on the air test, some of these illegal facilities that I've removed were switched through the public address button and the wiring has been left dangling so what I now need to do is to put that wiring back on restore the public address facility so your next video will be when I've done that put it back together and we'll put it on the air and give it an on the air test